Welcome, my friends of the interwebs. I just wanted to take a minute and show you some uh, uh, some new gear that I've got. It's a uh, sling pack. It's a, basically it's a camera bag for when you don't need all your stuff, um, but you want your camera and a couple lenses. Um, I this was this was one of the best buys ever. <laughs> ever I got this at Costco, and it's right around thirty bucks. Um, and I'll tell you what, I, I used it Saturday. I actually, I gear tested it Saturday all day long at a shoot for the I Stop the Bully project. We were at the University of Toledo in the Glass Bowl, which is their football stadium. And I was down on the field with the players and everything shooting video all day. And this bag came in so handy because I was able to just quickly uh, switch lenses when I wanted to. Um, it's just really nice. Switch batteries. Awesome bag. Anyway, this is made by Tamrac. T-A-M-R-A-C, and it's the Jazz 76 DSLR Camera Sling Pack. I'm going to show you a couple things, and I'm going to show you the bag. Now, I got mine set up a little bit different than what they do here. But basically, it slings over your shoulder. It's not like a backpack. Uh, it's just one sling, um, which is really kind of nice. I kind of like it. It's not real bulky. It's not real heavy. And you can tell in this photo... Oh, this guy's got his uh, camera on the one side. I actually have that reversed, and that may change, but uh, but for now it definitely um, it definitely works for me. But that's it. You can see it's got a graphic on on here. I'm not sure where online you can get this, but I'm sure you can. I don't know what what they go for. Like I said, I paid. I want to say it was twenty nine ninety nine at Costco. So let me go ahead and show you the actual piece of kit. Um, and then I'll show you the bag that it, it for the most part, is replacing. So this is the bag to give you an idea um, how big it is. Let me uh, let me put a 1911 next to it. This this is verified empty, so nobody needs to freak out about that. But yeah, just to give you an idea of the size of the bag, it's not real big. But it, it carries what you want or what you need. Now there's some, you know, some webbing type of uh, 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 openings there for you. One, 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 basically, one strap. At the top of the slap strap is a loop, and you can either carry it like that, okay, or I suppose if you wanted to, you could probably put your monopod through it and carry your monopod along with uh, your camera gear. So I mean, let me adjust this camera a little bit, okay. So now this, well let me show you where I get my camera, well I do camera last. This is where they have the camera in the picture on the box. It's got a zip up bat, or top here, I keep a battery in there, and um, I thought I had a lens pin in there, but apparently not. Um, and this has compartments, <clears throat> so on one side, I've got my um, uh, 55 to 250 a telephoto lens and in the middle I, I'm keeping the 55 um, to 250 or excuse me 18 to 55 lens okay and then on this side because I do mostly videos um, although I've been doing a lot more photographs lately but I do mostly videos so on this side I have my Rode video mic okay and that's really for the most part all the big items that you're going to be able to load in this this year you could probably slide another smaller lens in here um or some other piece of kit that would fit in there but for the most part you know and you could probably actually put something long ways in here too actually perfect size for the glock 27. <laughs> perfect size for the glock 27. okay so Excuse me, that's one side, and then you've got the other side, which is where I store the camera. Now, if you look at the box, that's not where they store the camera. Um, but for me, this works for me for now. Like I said, I may actually, um, except for my camera lens, just, or the lens cover just came off, but that's a big deal. Um, for me, this, this works like this, although, like I said, I may change it. But that's the inside there. And it's pretty big. It's got another web pouch in there. Um, it's pretty big. You could you could store quite a bit in there. I mean, if you wanted to sling, let's say you were traveling, you wanted to sling your, your or should say you're on feet, you wanted to sling your camera over uh, your shoulder, 
you could put another few lenses in here, or another backup camera, or another you know another camera in general. Um, so, and by the way, I'm using my Canon Vixia to film this. <laughs> I'm using my old friend to uh, to film this video, which is kind of funny. Somebody had said to me, or they asked me what I was going to do with um, you know with my old video camera. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm gonna keep it because how else am I gonna film myself? Uh, filming about my DSLR uh, experiences. So anyway, so yeah, you sling it over your shoulder and then when you need it, you kind of sling it out in front of you and you unzip and get what you want out. It's very, very convenient. Now let me show you what it, it replaced. Now listen, <clears throat> by the way, this is not the bag that came with the camera, but you know what, just for shits and grins. It's really the same bag, and this one's a little bit bigger than this one. I still don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to hang on to it for right now, though. I may do a giveaway. I may end up selling it. I don't really know. But for right now, I'm not making any decisions on that, because I know a few of you have asked for it. Okay, so this is a Canon bag that I bought a few years back. Uh, I don't know how many years ago. And it's been a really good bag. And it's got a ton. Let me give you a little bit more. I can't. It's got a ton of storage in it. Um, it's got, it's got pouches on each side, zipper pouches on each side, which, Boker Bulldog, don't know why the hell I got that in there. <laughs> this is a hot shoe thing, I don't know what's in there, what that's in there for, but there's all kinds of storage with this bag. Um, it's got a web pouch up here that's got a zipper, I don't know if you can see that or not, probably not, let me come up a little bit. Web pouch up here, it's got a zipper, and I've got batteries in there, some GoPro accessories. Um, <coughs> which reminds me, Colonel Salty, send me your address, and I will loan you my GoPro. I, don't, I can't find your address. I, <laughs> I don't typically keep that stuff. This is actually from the new uh, uh, bag that I, I didn't need this, little Velcro thing, uh, but I'm going to hang on to it. So i got my light in here. I, keep, I carry my other camera in here. Oh, here's my lens pen. Um... Got my rocket in here, just different stuff, filters for the uh, for the light, and then of course it's got a big zipper up front, and you can carry all kinds of stuff in here. I'll go back down again, uh, just for reference. 1911 fits in there nicely, so you know. All right, but this is uh, this was something that was. I mean, and listen, I still use this bag. It's a great bag. If I need to carry all of my stuff, this is one of the bags that I would definitely put stuff in. Um, but the truth is, for like the, the shoot that I did on Saturday, the video shoot that I did on Saturday with the uh, University of the Rockets football team, um, yeah, I mean, it just what this wasn't convenient for me. It was just too big, too bulky. I didn't want to hump it around all day, and that sling bag was really the ticket for sure. Um, yeah, you know, you guys know me. A lot of you have known me for a long time. It was surreal. I get a DSLR camera, and the next thing I know, I'm down on, a, on the University of Toledo's football field taking video of the coach and <laughs> that stuff. I mean, I have a surreal life. I just do. <laughs> I have a surreal life. You look for those videos be coming up pretty soon. I'll probably spread them around, but they'll mostly be for like the Kennel Club or the Kennel Boys or Kennel Inc. Uh, there'll be some of it on Rebecca Saren's channel. She was a big part of that. Along with Brandon Copeland uh, from uh, Kennel Link. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. But, um, yeah. And this is a great bag, but it's just sometimes it's not going to get it done. So, anyway, as far as the sling bag goes, I used it hard for about four hours last Saturday, and it was perfect. I loved it. Loved every minute of it. Loved everything about the bag. It's just, it was a really good buy. Something to think about if you're going to be purchasing a bag, look at the bag and make sure it's going to work for what you intended to, 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 or intend to use it for. Because this, as much as I like this camera bag, didn't, didn't do what I wanted to do. Now, I'd like to get another bag that holds more, but is a backpack type bag. Um, but that's not as big of a necessity right now. That sling bag really kind of filled that void for me. That filled that niche. But anyway, that's all I got. If any of you have any questions as far as, you know, uh, a novice, if you have a question about what my experience has been using the Canon EOS 70D, my very first DSLR camera or digital SLR camera, um, let me know if you've got questions about, I mean, because I'll tell you what, I'm no expert, but I'm learning fast. 
And um, I will tell you that I wish I would have made this move years ago. <laughs> I really do. Um, I just really do. There's so much you can do with the DSLRs that you can't do with a regular camcorder. Uh, of course, it all depends on what you want to do. If all you're interested in doing is just simple blogs, then why spend the money? Because they're not cheap. And then you start, they become like guns in the sense that you get accessories. <laughs> you get lenses and all this stuff is expensive as hell. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. See ya!